and welcome to Dodge This, the channel that's all about things Guild Wars 2. This is Caboose speaking. First up, a huge thanks to Geekosaurus for giving a shout out to my channel on his last video despite the fact he wasn't able to use the footage I gave him. Cheers man, you didn't have to do that. Now, for those of you who haven't seen that video, click that link there. Why? Well, because today's video is pretty much going to be a sequel to his. So in his video, the one you've just watched, right? Gigasaurus covers the basics behind cross-profession combos. What I'm going to be going into detail is the combos that you can perform solo. I find this very handy as what better way to learn to do something with someone else than practicing on yourself first. Hmm. Any innuendo in this video is 100% unintentional, by the way. <laughs> anyway, first up, let's bring up that chart. This can be found over at the Guild Wars 2 wiki. Just type combo into the search and you'll be taken right here. As Geekasaurus went over in his video, you will need both a field and a finisher to create a combo. Let's start with the field. Water looks good, so let's click that. As we can see, a water field can be placed by rangers, engineers, and elementalists. For this example, let's go with the ranger. His water field is one of his heals, Healing Spring. Alright, now let's go back to the combo table. Being a ranger, he'll have no shortage of projectile attacks, so we'll click the projectile finisher. But before we do that, notice that the effect cause is regeneration. In the case of helpful effects with projectiles, the effect will be placed on an ally if he is hit by the projectile, which in this case would be the regeneration boon. Alright, we'll click the projectile finisher now. Yep, no shortage of those. Let's try the default axe attack ricochet. Now, take note here that it has a 20% chance to finish an active combo. But let's say you want a 100% chance to have a combo work. Well, let's go back and have a look at the uh, Path of Scars offhand axe skill. As you can see, there is no percent chance listed. This means this will always activate a projectile finisher when thrown through a combo field. Also note that this skill flies out in a straight arc and then comes back again. So potentially when combining this with Healing Spring, the projectile will fly outwards from your character, any allies it passes over will receive the regeneration boon, and then it will come back again, potentially striking those same allies again and refreshing their regeneration boon. Here's an example of Ricochet and Healing Spring being used together in game. As you can see, the axes that fly through gain the regeneration effect, and when I slow down the video, you can see regeneration axe hitting that bear there and providing the buff. You will always know when you have completed a combo by the little heart that comes up, and it will have a brief indication of what has been achieved. Alright, let's try a different combo now. The lightning field looks fun, and it looks like this field is unique to the Elementalist. It's only available on the Staff or the Conjured Lightning Hammered, and the Conjured Lightning Hammered could be potentially used by any class, but an Elementalist would have to drop that hammer in the first place. As you can see above, there is a list of finishes and what they do. Let's try a Blast Finisher. As you can see, there are a lot of Blast Finishers for other classes, but for now we're focusing on the Elementalist, so let's scroll down. Arcane Wave looks good, and it's a utility skill, so we could easily combine the Staff Static Field with Arcane Wave. So for example, if we saw an ally in trouble, we could throw a Static Field on his attack to stun him and then blast that foe with Arcane Wave. The foe would take damage and the ally would gain swiftness. Sounds like a pretty good combination to me. But let's make this combo a bit more versatile. We've got easy access to a blast finisher and we're using a staff. We saw earlier that an elementalist is also able to create a water field just like the ranger. And it just so turns out that this field is also under the staff skills. So we could create a water field with either geyser or healing rain. Then we could target that field with our arcane blast and boom, a quick area healing. We could also trigger this effect with eruption, another blast finisher on the staff in the earth attunement. As you can see, before you even get into cross-class combinations, it might be worth looking at some of the ones you can do yourself. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Just a reminder that there is a stress test tomorrow, or today, depending on my awful upload speeds, at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time until 4pm Pacific Standard Time. Remember, you can always follow ArenaNet on Twitter or Facebook to find out the times of any future tests, if there are any. 
As always, this has been Caboose from Dodge This Bam. If you have any questions, queries, comments, or complaints, please leave them in the comment section or send us an email at dodgethisbam at yahoo.com.au. All right, guys, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.